Tonight, a Utah man is facing a long road to recovery after a snowmobile accident left him severely injured and waiting for help in the mountains. The specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live at Intermountain Medical Center in Murray, where the man is hospitalized this evening. How's he holding up, Lauren? Yeah, Mike, so 23... Jackson McQuistion actually was in surgery earlier this evening here at IMC. Just another surgery of many that he'll have to go through. But his mom and his aunt telling me that they're grateful he'll be able to recover. <laughs> Screams of fun fill the air during a family reunion in Heber. We were all out just together. For Adrian Sloan, on the right, visiting from Vegas. So excited. Hadn't seen him in several months. A chance to see her son, Jackson, who lives in Midvale. But not long after Jackson took off on a snowmobile Saturday with his brother and a few others. My son came over the ridge and was screaming. A different kind of scream after Jackson had crashed on a drop-off, thinking the land was flat. It wasn't looking good for Adrian the worst fear. Jarring for me because we lost a son. Our first son died when he was 18. It was Jackson's best friend. And so as a mom, you know, to hear that, my heart just dropped. Everyone rushed over to find. He landed on his face and the helmet part, partly broke off into his face. Causing Jackson's eye to come out. His so face was shattered and he suffered broken bones in other places. <laughs> the family worked to keep Jackson stable for 45 minutes while waiting for search and rescue. Love you, Jackson. Got it, Jack. They flew him to IMC where he's now staying for weeks undergoing surgeries and a facial reconstruction. Adrian had to tell her son the news. He lost his eye, but his helmet saved his life and Jackson will recover. I said, you've got a perfect brain and a perfect heart and you're going to be okay and you're going to heal. And they've been blown away by the hundreds of people who immediately donated more than 20 grand to a GoFundMe Sarah created uh, in less than a day. Uh, I'm just shocked. I'm so full of gratitude and love and like I just, there's just no words to describe how you feel when you see people reaching out to love your child like that in his worst time of need. Giving them hope as Jackson starts his recovery journey. Yeah, and they say that Jackson's helmet was actually on wrong and he could feel it, so he adjusted it moments before that crash happened, really hammering here helmet safety. Mike, just uh, glad that he's be able to walk out of this hospital yeah. and he'll be okay. Yeah, lucky to be alive. Uh, wish him the best, though. All right, Lauren, thank you.